Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are and whenever you have the opportunity to join me. I'm Dr. Jan. This is Journey with Jesus, Nuggets of Thought. And this week's Nugget of Thought, our Bible study, is There's a River of Life Flowing Out of Me. In the process, as we are taking this journey, remember, every journey begins with the first step. And as we are going together with now looking at our journey being more of a Bible study, you need to be responsible, not just me, but to dig into and look for these nuggets of truth that God has given us in the Bible. This week, remember, we start with Monday, and that's our introduction lesson. And we give scripture an area um, of thought for you to think on through the week. I will be posting down in the description the timestamps. So if you can't get to watch this all in one setting, or you find there's a section you want to go back to and find the information, you will find that in the description. On Wednesday, then I give a text. Mondays is a video. Wednesday, just a quick upbeat text to find out where we are, what God been saying to us. And then Saturday, we wrap up the week with prayer and helping everyone know that when we talk to God, it's like we're talking to each other and there doesn't have to be anything special. But if we learn to follow a pattern, it makes it easier. And what I like to follow, it's called the acts, adoration, confession, thanks and supplication that when we go into Christ's presence and God's presence and we seek him first to adore him, uh, it changes what we ask for. So that's where we leave it at the end. Well, as we start out for today, uh, our praise section and the introduction lesson always is divided into praise, command, covenant, connection, and call to action. Well, at this point, there's a river of life flowing out of me. And I looked up and I have a link in the description that does give background to the song. And at the bottom, it does have a video. Now, you have to realize the song, there's a river of life flowing out of me, makes a lame to walk and the blind to see, open prisons, doors, sets the captives free. There's a river of life flowing out of me, spring up a well within my soul, spring up a well within my soul, spring up a well within my soul. The life abundantly. Well, I hadn't decided yet whether I was going to sing or not. But in the process, a lot of these songs are being learned by children. And if we can learn them when we are young, they are so planted down within our spirit that they do. They well up. And that's what we're looking at today. This river of life that needs to be in us our heart. Remember, I always talk about how Jesus is going to come into our heart. He is going to come out and then surround us. Well, we have to have this river of life, this joy that we want to give. Uh, my husband and I have been watching uh, more Christian, uh, godly type of um, movies. They, you know, once you start watching them, especially on YouTube, that's what they recommend. And, you know, they had this one preacher and he was preaching and he did change by the end of the show, but you know what? He was sort of dry and I don't mean that about negative, but you know what? We should have an excitement and a joy of Jesus that bubbles up out of us and into the world around us. Well, that just, just, mm, that just doesn't happen without some work. Now God is going to pour it into us, but we have work. Now, also, another song that I have under the praise section is I've Got Peace Like a River. And so my students at school really like singing that. So I've left you two videos and that way you have the links and you can go back and you can listen to them throughout the week. We're working on that river of life. 
that command, covenant, and connection that we are going to make is starting with Jesus' promise. You know, Jesus answered. Um, he had um, gone uh, and gone to the well at noon. His disciples had gone into the city. And this is in John chapter 4, verse 13, 14. I encourage you to read the entire chapter. It's full of a wonderful, um, exciting activities and miracles that God did through Jesus. And so our goal is we should have that same river of life and excitement that just wells up in us and that can't help but to come out and touch other people's lives. But when the lady came to the well at noon was because, you know what, everybody in her life had shunned her. Uh, she wasn't the best of quality. And that's when Jesus said to her, and they had a, a conversation, and, you know, he asked her, well, can you give me a drink? And she wondered, well, why are you talking to me? And they went on, and he said, but I am the, I will bring water and life that those who drink from me will never be thirsty. So the, um, the uh, scripture says, John 4, verse 13 through 14, Jesus answered her, Everyone who drinks this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them a spring of water welling up to eternal life. We need Jesus in us to be that well of living water because we can't do it on our own. Our call to action is clean your well. Uh, so whatever is in us right now that is keeping us from having that steady flow of the well, uh, we have to realize that often, especially in um, the biblical, biblical times, but also even in current, if you are in war, they stop up the water supply. They throw rocks and gravel and, and stop because you know what? Water is the life of the community. Without water, you're going to die. So in 2 Kings chapter 3 and Genesis 26, you'll have to go and read about how the, the enemy often was clogging up the wells and that was part of their warfare. So we have to go out and we have to clean our wells. Whatever the sludge, whatever it has been in our lives, it could be anger, it could be resentment, unforgiveness. There's just many things that happen in our lives that keep our well getting more and more sludge. So we have to go clean it. And I live in an area where uh, we have rainwater and it goes into a cistern underneath your house. And oh my goodness, sometimes you just have to clean out the water so you can go clean out the gunk. So I'm just letting you know, that is something that even still occurs today. So we have to choose. There's always a choice. And we're asking that today we choose to allow God to fill our hearts with his overflowing water. Now we have to remember that in Revelation uh, chapter 21 and 22, it talks about how um, God, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To uh, the thirsty, I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Then it goes on to say, Then the angel showed me the river of the water of life, as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb, down the middle of the great street of the city. On each side of the river stood the tree of life, bearing twelve crops of fruit, yielding its fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree are for the healing of the nations. We need to have whatever needs to flow out of us, the river of life of God. There is such healing that is needed in our families, in our community, even within ourselves. And where Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity three in one, in their presence is fullness of joy. So we need to have that living water in us and so full that it flows and it touches everyone we come in contact with. 
I am so glad you joined me today. I pray that you are going to really dig into the scripture, think about what's going on in your heart, make sure that you are starting to have that bubble up, bubble up, that spirit of excitement, the joy, the river of life flowing out of you, and that people will say, what's so different about you? And it gives you the opportunity to say, it's because of Jesus. I'm so excited of what he's doing in my life. He has given me peace and joy, patience, kindness, all of the fruit of the Spirit. I look forward to hearing from you. Please comment. Let's like, follow, comment, and share. Uh, this is an open Bible study. We would like to make this a community. If you have questions, comments, uh, concerns, please put them into the comment section. And I'll look forward to hearing from you. And you can hear from me by Wednesday. Our update, it will be a text. And then on Saturday, I look forward to being able to pray with you. God bless you, keep you, make his face shine upon you, and he will be gracious unto you. Have a great day.